Come in. For God's sake, come in. I'm coming in, aren't I? It's that stupid bleeding handle on the door. You want to get it fixed? Uh, yes, yes, I, I, I meant to. The, the camera's just there. It's just there. You don't have to do anything, you know? And so you listen, think what you're going to say and behave. And that's, that's, that's movie acting. All I know is, and you must listen to this, all I know is that I know absolutely nothing. Of the movies I've made, I would have say a quiet American sleuth, an educating reader with the three performances, all of which I got nominated for an Oscar for. That was the first and I didn't win it. <laughs> Sir Michael Caine has been a spy, a lover, a butler, a reporter, a crook, a man about town and a symbol of British masculinity. Pretty versatile. Or is he? People often say that you're Michael Caine in every part you do. Does that annoy you? I suppose it's the ignorance that annoys me, is that if you're doing something movie acting really really well there's no acting in it so you, they say well that's him that's the real him instead of which it's charlie smith you know yeah you know. I, I i've never played i've never played a, a rich man i've never played a movie star that's me it's what i call it in everything in life like right through politics the half think which is the obvious answer and then you go wait a minute maybe that's only halfway you give it another thought you know i've sung you up i've set your bones but I won't bury you. I've buried enough members of the Wayne family. You leave me? You see only one end to your journey. Leaving is all I have to make you understand. You're not Batman anymore. Did you see him in The Dark Knight Rises? And his voice gets even more emotional than it's ever done in the past before. I don't want to bury you, Batman. I will not put you in the ground in a little box. I will not do it, Master Bruce. I will not do it. I'm not going to bury another Batman. Another Batman? How many Batmans has he been burying? How many are there? I, buried... I remember in the trip they had this thing with... Uh, 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 I had a very high... My name is Michael Caine, not really people... That... And, they just said... and then the other one says, no, he's had all that brandy and cigars. His voice is a lot deeper, which, of course, is true. My voice is a lot deeper now. That so sounded, they got that right. That sounded a bit like John Major. You could maybe, Did I? Yeah, you could oh, maybe, when you were doing the hire. John Major. Well, John Major's from South London. He's from Brixton. Yeah. So he, he would have a similar accent to me. Yeah. What's it like to be one of the most impersonated people around? The, the impression that people give of me is, my name is Michael Kay, not repeat what I write. And my impression of me is, my name is Michael Caine. Not many people know that. How did you know I wasn't having you what? Kane in another of his favourite movies, out? Sleuth. Or didn't you think that was possible? Now, don't start doing a fertility dance. Of course, I knew that they'd find you and Marguerite rutting away like crazed weasels. But why should I pay good money to have something confirmed which I'd known for months? On screen and off, his has been a story of social climbing. So where is his political home now? You've got to get somewhere between the ridiculous and the gold blimey, you know? You've got to be sensible enough to tax the rich properly and take care of the poor properly. And I mean, I was on benefits myself. I come from a working class family. I, I, I mean, I, I voted all over the place. I voted for Maggie Thatcher. I voted for Blair. You know, then I voted for Cameron. But I can't, what's the name of the socialist guy? Uh, Miller Miller Band. I, I, I wouldn't vote for him. What about Mr. Farage? Do you like the cut of his jib? <clears throat> no, 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 no. It's too obvious. You know, it, it's, it doesn't take into consideration any other thing than Europe, you know, getting out of Europe or something. But I just saw uh, uh, Cameron's speech and he said he's going to deal with that with the, the um, human rights thing, which tackles uh, immigration and everything. Do you think this is a, a happy country, one that's at peace with itself? <clears throat> if an American sees a man in the Rolls Royce, an American will say, I'll have one of those one day. You wait and see, I'll get one of those. If an Englishman sees him, he said, let's get that rich bastard out of there and beat him up and set fire to the car. It's not very good for, for a nation. 
The second one sounded more like Michael Caine. That sounded more like your bit of dialogue than the American. I went back with my original accent. The Bermondsey. Yeah. Um, Is there anything you'd still like to do? A musical? A soap opera? Maybe a late night news show? No, no, I I, I like to sit with a a drink and watch a late night news show and go to to bed straight away. I don't want to get on a bus and go home. (laughs) I have no ambitions now. Except that all I do is I do films that I feel I really want to do. If I don't get a script, which I don't have, it, that f- entices me out, I'll be done in, uh, in uh, December when I do the last picture, the last script I've got. Because we like sending the audience to bed happy on this show, Kane in the caper movie, The Italian Job. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. I always went into every movie with a with an aim, you know, an aim. It was either to get an Oscar or make money. You know, that's two reasons I do movies. You know, I got two Oscars and I got some money, and so I'm all right. <laughs>